inch board. So what I have right here is a house that I quickly modeled. Um, you know, it's just a random house that I modeled, um, but I have the, the main things that I need. I have the floor plan. I have all of those four elevations, north, south, east, west. Um, and what I have is I have uh, almost three or four different line weights. Um, so the important thing is you wanna go in there, you kinda wanna edit the line weights to um, whatever print type you want. I recommend you know working with three to four different line weights, but for example, um, if you have a number of line weights, maybe you could do one line weight that's um, uh, 0.4 millimeters. Um, you could do one that's perhaps uh, uh, 0.3 millimeters. Um, your lightest line weight could be uh, perhaps uh, 0.20 uh, millimeters. And then for a hidden line, um, go ahead and make sure to change the print color to black. We want it to be black. Um, you could even do a light gray um, if you want it to be slightly uh, hidden. So we can just do a dark gray over here. And uh, we're gonna change the line type uh, to hidden line because these are projection lines. And we're gonna change the print type to, um, uh, let's say 0.35. So now what we've done is we've taken those different line layers that we have and we've created a print width, we've created different line types and we know what color we want them to be um, as well. So now that we have all of that, um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to export each of these orthographics um, onto their own individual boards. Now there's two ways to export. Um, in this scenario, I recommend using the quick export option. Um, so what you can do is you can select this entire line, type in export, and um, for file name, let's go ahead and type in uh, North View. Let's save it to our desktop, um, and we're going to save it as a PDF, of course. Now this dialog will come up. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to choose letter. Um, we're going to choose, uh, it doesn't matter, we can actually choose portrait, that's fine. Uh, print, black and white. For the view and output scale, now this is quite important. We want a fixed scale. So let's go ahead and pick a scale to, let's see how one fourth uh, looks on our page. So one fourth is a, a pretty good size um, if you want to do a uh, single orthographic view on eight inch by eight inch. So let's go ahead and select one fourth equals uh, one feet. Let's edit our window a little bit. So we're gonna kind of edit our window so we can make sure that change scale, nope, enter. So now we essentially have uh, this, this viewport and we have this uh, elevation view. Um, everything looks right, the scale is right, um, the color is right, the size is right, it's letter. Um, and line types, we already edited ourselves, so we don't need to edit any of this. And let's go ahead and click Save. Let's once again, let's save that again. North Elevation Desktop. Now what we're going to do is we're going to keep on doing these for all of those elevations. So we're going to type in uh, maybe uh, right elevation. And like I said, uh, we're doing the same thing. You know, we're doing um, one fourth inch uh, scale. Um, as you can see, it realigned it, so we're going to change the window so that it fits onto our printing page. Change scale? No. Click enter. And as you can see, it came up perfectly fine. Everything else is right, black and white. Um, let's click save. Save it again. Right elevation. And um, do this for the plan as well. So you can type in export. You can type in a plan view. Um, once again, scale will have to be adjusted. <clears throat> Let's go to one fourth inch, black and white. Okay, everything uh, is looking good. Let's click save. And keep on doing these for the rest of the elevation. So at the end, you should have a total of um, five uh, PDFs saved. So once all of those uh, orthographics were saved, uh, we're gonna open Photoshop. We're actually gonna open all of those PDFs that we saved. So uh, like I mentioned, back elevation, um, click OK. File, open, and continue to open um, all of those elevations. And what you're going to have is you're going to have all of those orthographics on a separate page. 
Now the important thing is now that we have all of these, uh, we're going to lay each of these orthographics onto an 8 inch by 8 inch board. So what we're going to do is we're going to click File and New. Uh, we're going to change our width to inches. We're going to make our width 8 inches by 8 inches and our resolution will be 300. So now we have an 8 inch by 8 inch board. So the first thing you want to do is you want to actually want to create a 1 inch border. So what you can do is you can actually drag a ruler from this ruler at the top. If you don't have this ruler, you can just go to View, Select Rulers, and make sure it's on. Now go ahead and move it to one inch. If you hold Shift, it'll lock onto a number. So let's lock onto one inch. And there we go. Let's do it for the bottom as well. So that's going to be 7 inches because it's working from the opposite. And this will be 7 inches as well. So now we have a 1 inch border all around us. Um, so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and start with the plan view. So let's go to our plan view. Let's select our plan view. And remember that this is already to a 1 4th inch scale. So now that we've selected this, we're going to type edit copy. And we're going to go back to our board and type edit paste. So what it's done is it's automatically taken our plan view and placed it onto here. Now we're going to go ahead and trim those lines that are kind of interfering. So let's go ahead and select that and delete whatever lines are interfering. And now we have our plan uh, placed into this 8 inch by 8 inch board. Now to end things off, um, what would be nice is just to quickly write your name. So if you go to the text tool, you can go to the text tool right here. Uh, select anywhere on the screen and choose uh, any kind of 12 uh, point font um, and you can go ahead and type your name type the class and go ahead and type uh, the date for example January 24th and right align it and let's go ahead and move it um, to this corner and once again, if those lines are interfering, go ahead and select that layer and delete whatever lines are interfering. And there you go. You've taken that orthographic and you've placed it on an 8-inch by 8-inch board. Just make sure to save this, File, Save As. And you can save it, of course, as the Finished Plan View. And you can save that again, save it as a JPEG or a PDF. Um, and continue to do this for all of the boards. Um, I'll show a quick example of how we'll do it for another elevation. Let's say we're doing the front elevation. Let's say we're doing the right elevation. So let's go to the right elevation view. Let's select our elevation. Let's copy it. We'll go back to a board. Uh, let's delete, let's hide this for now. And let's go ahead and paste our right elevation. Now as you can see the right elevation is rotated so what we're going to do is we're going to simply rotate it again. So let's type in edit, let's type in transform, rotate and we're going to select a corner, hold shift and rotate it so that we have a fixed elevation. Let's go ahead and align it to where we think it's appropriate and delete any unnecessary lines. Delete. So now we have a very quick uh, right elevation as well. And once again, save it again as a finished right elevation view. And continue to do this for all of the boards. So you should have at the end a total of five 8 inch by 8 inch boards. So now once we've actually done that to all of those elevations, um, I have the final files right here. So for example, you have the uh, back elevation you have the front elevation, you have the right, left, excuse me, plan and right. And then all of these will be on their own individual boards. Um, and they're eight inches by eight inches, so make sure to print it on an eight and a half by 11 um, in a normal printer. And then you can actually cut off um, the board to actually fit those eight inch by eight inch dimensions. And these are how they'll look at the end. That's it.